Hey everyone, welcome back to JLake 3D. So today we're gonna to be working on something called the Pupurka vase, which in Serbian translates to bud, which I assume means flower bud because this is like a semicircle vase. So let's go ahead and click the top view there on the right here. If you missed it, click top and then go to sketch mode and select circle. All right, we're gonna make it 150 millimeters. So let's type that in to make it easier. And then go to the bottom here because I, I like to align it with something. So click that center there and make it 50 millimeters and then draw a line down and across here. And I like to do that on the grid so it aligns better and doesn't throw off my model. All right, let's go ahead and select now our little two new sketches. And on the left here, click move and rotate. And let's rotate that by 90 degrees. Click done. And then once we have that, exit sketching and go to tools, revolve. Select half of our circle, use the center line to revolve it, and click Done. All right, once we have our sphere, we select it, click Pattern, make sure you're on Circular Pattern, and align it using the edge of that circle. It goes directly to the center that way. And let's revolve it around by 360 degrees, and let's make it 12. That looks fine to me, click Done. Let's go ahead and go to Items menu, click Circular Pattern, make another pattern and this time make it linear go up make sure you're on spacing distance and let's do 50 since our sphere was 50 and let's do actually four and that looks pretty good let's click done and then i would like to select our pattern again but as you can see now it's in the new folder so what we need to do is either go into this folder and find the ones we want which would be difficult or we can simply select each one manually here this way or if we go to the front here we can click and drag like this but sometimes it doesn't let us do much until we deselect that sketch so let's go ahead and deselect that sketch and actually if we go back here we can deselect it that way and now we can work with it all right and what i want to do is click copy and go up by 25 millimeters and since the update, we can't deselect copy to use it now. We actually have to keep copy on, so keep that in mind. And rotate that by 15 degrees with copy on, like I said. And you won't get a secondary copy there, so that's fine. And then after that, click Pattern, and we're on Linear again. And we want to go up by, again, spacing distance and 50 millimeters and click Done. And as you can see, we have a lot of work already done with the pattern tool that was really quick and easy. And then the cool thing is if you want to change that, so if we go here and find the pattern, we see we have the quantity here. If we made 12, we can make it different. So now we can go ahead and modify our model and update certain parameters to make different and unique shape, shapes. And I mean, this looks like a corn if we make it yellow, especially, right? So let's make it back to 12 just to keep our first shape. And then let's go ahead and add our finishing touches here. And what I want to do is use that same sketch and double click it. Okay, and now draw another circle. Doesn't really matter how big because we're going to actually use it to extrude it. So select this one and that one and then just extrude it down. We just need a base here. Once we have that, we can also make sure you go back here. As you noticed, it hid our sketch after we did that. So we actually have to go in and unhide the one we want. So in this case, it's that first one. Well, actually, no, it's not. Uh, it's this one, but we're not actually able to use it here because it's part of the inside of this circle piece. So what we need to do is actually hide our pattern, at least one of them, and then choose that and extrude it up, let's say 200 just for starters, and I want it as a new body, okay? Let's unhide our circles there. And now let's go ahead and select our top face and then just align it to a proper... Uh, place so we can work with it later and then tools union just click and drag to select all of them and click done once we have that we go to tools shell and let's make it two millimeters and click done once we have the model here we can go ahead and select this and extrude it in to give ourselves that final edge and nice piece all right now for a final touch i like to go to visualization and um, choose a different color so let's go ahead and select our default material, make it something green and natural. And here we have a pupurka vase. 
So there's a lot, obviously you can mod here and change to make it your own. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That really helps the channel out. And if it's in your heart, don't forget to become a member and support my work. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.